most modern JavaScript developers have probably heard of React before. React can be said as the most well-known JavaScript libraries or frameworks that help us to build UI. Now the big question is, what makes React so special that it became one of the front-end giants today? Now to answer this question, let's spend a bit of time talking about the values that React brings to the table. Now suppose we have an H1 in our DOM, and we want to update the content of it using JavaScript. In vanilla JavaScript, the traditional way of doing this is to first target the element, and then manipulate the attribute of the element in JavaScript. This is what I called a DOM-driven approach. In other words, the content manipulation revolves around the DOM. Although there's nothing wrong with this approach, however, sometimes it could feel quite cumbersome. Hiya. As we always need to target the element before we can perform an update. This could be quite distracting since we always need to properly manage our element IDs and also the associated targets. Now React took an entirely new approach in regards to DOM manipulations. Rather than focusing on the DOM, React focuses on the data, which I called the data-driven approach. That means we we'll shift our focus onto the data rather than the DOM. I can't really do any demonstration on React at this stage because there are quite a bit of setup work needed to be done before that. So I need you to use your imagination here for a bit. Now, here's how the concept works. If we want to change the content of our heading here, Instead of targeting the heading element, we would bind a variable directly into the DOM. So we will create a variable in JavaScript and use some sort of syntax inside our HTML to load the variable in. And when we want to update the DOM, we simply just need to change the variable itself. Isn't that neat? The actual React code is not that far off from what we have here. Can you see the benefit of using a data-driven approach? You can see that we're abstracting away the low-level logic and focus on what is really important, which is the data. And that concept is one of the biggest values that React brings to us. Other than the data-driven approach, React also provides us another revolutionary concept called the virtual DOM. The virtual DOM is basically the powerhouse for data binding in React. You see, behind the scene, React needs some sort of mechanism to efficiently update the DOM in order for data binding to work. The thing is, manipulating the DOM directly could prove to be slow and expensive. The notion of virtual DOM is to clone the whole DOM structure into the memory. So when we want to apply changes inside the DOM, we simply need to update the virtual DOM instead of the real DOM. Since the virtual DOM is living inside the memory, it is super quick to update it. And once we are happy with all the changes, the virtual DOM will then apply the changes efficiently in the real DOM by comparing itself against the structure inside the real DOM. This process of syncing the node structure is called reconciliation in React. Anyway, virtual DOM is the technology that makes DOM updates in React super efficient and fast. That way we can build a very fluid and smooth UI experience without putting a lot of burden onto the browser. All right. This is a quick intro to React, and hopefully now you understand why using React is quicker and a more logical choice to build UI in our web applications. We will learn more about React in the next video. Alright, key takeaways for this lesson. React is a JavaScript library to build user interface. React is data-driven rather than DOM-driven, which means it abstracts away a lot of the low-level API and lets us focus on what's important, in other words, the business logic. The virtual DOM is a clone of the real DOM, which enables React to quickly and efficiently apply changes in the UI. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.